Question seven then from paper two of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource paper. Three marks here for sketching a possible graph of the derivative of a given, of the graph of a given function. So that means just what you're going to plot here are going to be the values of the gradients. That's the original graph. All these values are the values of the y coordinates of f of x. Here you have to plot the values of the gradients, the derivatives of f of x. So what you want are the gradients. Well, there's several ways of setting that out. You could put down a table of signs. For this graph for x, what are the various gradients? Well, there's two shown stationary points. There's one at negative one, that's a minimum, and there's a point of inflection, a rising point of inflection at three. At both of those points, f dash x is equal to zero. So that means in this graph, since I'm plotting f dash x at x equals negative one and at x equals to three, this graph will pass through those points. Those are the zeros of this graph. That's where it cuts the x-axis. So I'll put them in, negative one and three. I think that really, those really are two of the marks that are going to appear. I don't know if I can put them in just now because I'll have to sketch the graph. But what happens in between? Well, just look at which way it's sloping. Before negative one, it was always negative. After negative one, it's positive. Didn't mean to put that there. After three, I meant between there. After three, it's still positive. So that just means wherever I draw this graph, the values, these values before negative one have to be negative values. The values between them have to be positive values and the value after again has to be positive. Well, so it'll have to be down here and then reach zero. It's got to get positive here, starting at zero, but the only way you can start at zero and finish zero and stay positive is if it comes up like this. And then it's got to go back to positive. It can't dip below, so it'll have to, have to take a little swerve there and carry on up. So that would be y equals f dash dx. So I'm not sure if there's a mark for putting those things in the table or for putting those things there. I think I'll do them for putting them in the table and then getting this graph correct. Mm -hmm.